Hi, welcome to Neve Studio. Before we begin, I would ask if we could bow our hearts for a quick prayer. O oh, gracious and eternal Father, thank you that you are good and your mercy endures forever. Thank you for this opportunity, God. Thank you for your calling and your anointing. We ask for guidance from the Holy Spirit, that you will guide us in every decision making that we're going to make. That you will give us wisdom, that you will continue to be exalted and highly glorified in everything that we do. We love you, God. We praise you. We thank you. For it's in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. In this section, we're going to be talking about the story flow. And this is kind of like the frame or the skeleton upon which we build the flesh of the story on top of it. In this phase of the production, uh, we're going to be exploring different paths and different ways of presenting an idea. Because there certainly is a lot of multiple creative ways of telling the story. But more importantly is that we stay true to the biblical narrative as much as possible. So we have the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So the main goal of the movie is to present the Gospel. And so we want to stay true to that uh, goal as much as possible. In order to make the uh, movie production a little bit easier to organize, it is divided into four sections. So we have uh, from Act 1 all the way to Act 4. We have Act 1 which is going to show uh, Jesus praying at the Garden of Gethsemane and the struggles that he's going through. Act 2 will be uh, the beatings, the, the torture, and the insanity that will lead to Act 3, which is the climactic event of the story. And this is where everything converged. Um, for the purpose of making this video short, I'm going to make another video that will deal with the theological side of, of that convergence. And then it will progress into the last section, which is uh, Act 4, which will be the Resurrection and the Ascension. And uh, so that's pretty much kind of like the rough uh, storyline. And so how do we go about this? Um, and how we can put this into paper? You can either use index card and line them up into a uh, board or I'll show you how I, I do it, and that is uh, the app called Cardflow. Let me show you that real quick. All right, so here we are. Let's open the Cardflow app, and uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Um, don't be overwhelmed by all the craziness that you see. I'll explain it. And so remember what we talked about earlier about breaking it into four sections to make it more manageable and uh, for the purpose of organizing it easier. So we have Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, and Act 4. You notice that uh, there's different uh, color on, on different index cards. And each of these colors actually represent the section that uh, it's in. Like for instance, uh, Act 1 is blue. Act 2 yellow, Act 3 red is uh, pink, um, and then Act 4 white. And this is actually the purpose of the color code, uh, yes, to make it organized and stuff, but uh, more importantly, it's just the, it also indicates the intensity of that, that section. Like, for instance, um, blue is on the cooler side, so there's really not much. Um, going on there and then act two it's kind of like building up building up all the way to the reddish pink which is um, the climax of the movie and this is basically where um, you know everything converges here and the crucifixion right um, and so this is the most intense um, part of the the movie and uh, we have white representing act four which is the um, resurrection and ascension um, and I figured that that would be a, a, a perfect representative of uh, what the this section is gonna be because that is ultimately the um, the main message is the resurrection and the first 75 percent of the movie is gonna be really really dark and so it's a good um, way to uh, contrast, you know, everything from Act One all the way to Act Three, 
all dark and then all of a sudden you know the resurrection and this is where vibrant colors and just vibrant loud kind of like uh, you know happy cheery type uh, music background as well so so it's definitely a, a contrast there and um, and if you notice also that uh, just to make it easier as well to I indicated the the time of the day to make it easier to light it later because uh, the whole movie is going to be 3D and so it's nice to have that sort of um, uh, initial knowledge of what how the scene is going to be lighted um, so let's expand this a little bit so here I try to be as descriptive as much as possible you know we can uh, um, you know in in the in the present uh, tense I should say on the active voice type of writing not in the passive sense um, and then you know yeah referen more importantly it's just referencing um, Matthew Mark Luke and John into layouting um, a lot of these events. It's just cool to know, like for instance, how many times did Jesus, you know, uh, pray, Oh my Father, if let this cup pass from me and all this stuff, you know. And it's good to know that, um, you know, there's three times that he did it, you know, and there's a lot of, obviously, there's a lot of the te theological side to it, but. Um, uh, like I said, the main goal is basically to, to try to stay true to the biblical narrative as much as possible. And um, um, so let's expand this a little bit. Like, uh, you know, once you figure out a lot of this description, uh, scripted type thing, um, and then the next phase is basically uh, to storyboard it, right? And so, so like, let me show you. Over here, we have this. Like a lot of the writings that were um, that were done in that card is now going to be here on the um, in, uh, storyboard. Like for instance, uh, like for instance, like uh, thick atmospheric fog fills the eerie evening at the Garden of Gethsemane. So just having that sort of um, descriptive gives you a nice way to sketch it and visualize what that is going to look like. Right, like for instance, Jesus prays out loud as he stretches out his hand while looking up toward the source of the light. Just be as descriptive as much as possible, so that way it's easier to sketch it out on the storyboard. And figuring out like what the type of camera and and the you know a lot of maybe just a rough cinematography uh, decision making here as well. And uh, so, yeah, a lot of the, it's nice to have all of this structure um, in place. It may, not, it may not necessarily end up in a movie. Some of this is going to be not necessarily have to be in the movie, just, you know, for whatever reason, it could be too expensive to produce or whatever. But it's good to just have as many, explore as many ideas as much as possible. Um, and uh, like for instance, I didn't know if I'm gonna use uh, uh, English as the main um, dialect, which I thought I can use my native language, which will give it a little more, I think a little bit more mystery to some people who doesn't know my language, <laughs> at least, you know, because um, obviously Jesus is not just, you know, he is the king of the world so he knows all, all these languages and but anyways those are some of the things that I haven't figured out yet but might or might not be in the movie that I'm gonna use that um, and so you know a lot of these things here uh, is just the structure skeleton of uh, so maybe we can zoom in into like one of these things here um, you know, like like for instance, around this time, uh, around this um, part of the movie, wherein Jesus is inside, um, you know, 
this raging tornado and stuff and um, you know you, you can see a lot of this like for instance inside a tornado is actually uh, a lot of list of um, different stuff that makes up that tornado like for instance perversion jealousy fornication abortion and uh, the this is gonna be more uh, subtle because I want to make sure that you know it doesn't take away from the experience but more importantly if you really want to dig deep there's gonna be a lot of theological stuff embedded into each scene and you know it took me good amount of time to um, you know with the study and research and and obviously a lot of prayers and uh, wisdom uh, asking for wisdom from the Holy Spirit to basically um, guide me every step of the way because this is my first movie so I, um, and as much as possible just uh, you know I need all the guidance I can get from from the Holy Spirit who is the main director <laughs> And I'm just kind of like just the um, instrument that he used to, you know, make this possible. Um, with that in mind, yes, uh, I think there's this is basically um, all I can say is just try to stay as organized as much as possible because already in this I haven't in this in this uh, um, uh, already in this section of the movie. Uh, and the prog the progress of this movie, I already uh, probably made hundreds of thousands of files already. You know, the renderings uh, with the concept art, and you know, a lot of these notes, a lot of just a lot of stuff. You know, accumulated over um, maybe a good two three years now. That um, all of this has been happening in the background, on and off. Um, you know. But anyways, uh, so that's pretty much um, it for now. Um, I will expand it later if I need to. Um, maybe make a tutorial of, of specifics about here. But this is just uh, giving you a, a general overview of how the battle uh, board is, you know, a lot of this brainstorming and stuff happens here. So, all right. Thank you for watching. God bless.